What's up guys, Devin LeVake here in New York City. We're about to put Michael through a, a little full body functional yeah, we're going to test my functionality. Obviously, yeah. you know I do a lot of hype trip style training. I don't really do that much functional stuff, so Devin's going to take me through a workout and put me to the test and see what I'm capable of. No, I, just, I like doing more calisthenics stuff and body weight. My biggest fear is getting bored. Yeah. Oh, I get bored. That's over, so this one, we go back. Easy, guys. Go from your knees. Down, rock into it. Adjust your feet. Can do 20. See how my toes are up on it? Yeah. Yeah, keep your toes up. There you go, like that. Now roll into it. You're good, back up. I got it. Okay, just squeeze your core though, squeeze the ball. Come on. It's alright. That's good. Come on. Right there. You don't even have to go that far down. Right there. Up. Two more. Two more. Get your feet up. Your core has to squeeze. Come on. Go. Two more. One. Get up. Two. Fuck me. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. It's what? One of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I feel so useless. <laughs> you feel all, all this muscle is doing this fuck more. Got this, come on. Is there a specific. Yeah, you're, you're perfect to squeeze. There you go. Just like that. Push up. That's good. Oh my god. There you go. Why are you shaking so much? Because I'm clearly right? not very good at this. You know? Just like that. You go something like that. Why is this so hard? Hey, ready? So we'll point them in a little bit. And now focus on squeezing. Here you go. Squeeze. Keep squeezing, come on. How are you feeling? This is so hard. I thought I would actually be alright here, but clearly not. Left wrist isn't even working. I'm gonna push it at you. Yeah. You're gonna push it back. You're gonna drop to a burp and get back up and push awesome. it. Alright, so go slow. So ready? Push it at you. Yeah. Drop to the floor. Up. And push it again. So try to knock me over when you push it. Try what? Try to knock me over. Okay. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. Get up. It's coming. Five more. One. Two, three, four, five, okay. That was Well, <laughs> that one's the best one by far. That one I can actually do. That's insane. Literally, just do like a burpee push. Do like eight to ten. Absolutely kills you. Do a short break, and then do it again. Is there a technique for that? It's supposed to take me quick. Just quick. And go. Ah. 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 Ah.
Good. Yeah, I'm building sweaty outside, please. Nope. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Get up. Get up. Come on. Nice. Get up. Come on. That's what I like to see. Two more. How much do you weigh? About 94 kilo. How much do you weigh, Devin? 170. Hey, he's put it up again. <laughs> he's actually trying to kill me. Struggle's real. Uh, right. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh! Let's go. Okay. Oh. Right. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Oh. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> Devin, would you do this uh, type of training with? Many people. Like, but, is this is this a standard training session or standard for definitely higher higher level? We're about to do a really athletic drill. Very athletic drill. It's going to be resistance band with hand-eye coordination. Okay. Are you good with? Uh, we'll see. Playing catch. Are you still facing me? You're going to catch with your left hand. Throw it back and to the right hand. Can't die. Get used to it. Easy breezer, right? Can't die. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Quick. Yeah. Quick. Ah, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, this is very frustrating. <laughs> I don't like not being good at something. No, you're right. Wait. Do you have any brothers and sisters? What brother? Do you have any dogs or cats? Nope. Okay, I hate cats. Yeah, they look vicious. <laughs> Come on, don't drop it. Three, two, good. You ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Come on. Last one. Ever do handstand walks? Try it. So we're gonna add a football, as you call it, right? Yes. A football. Soccer ball. Soccer ball. A soccer ball. We're gonna walk all the way to the end and lose our hands. Just a quick warning, I have never done this before. We're gonna do a uh, wall burpee. Okay. You know wall burpees? Watch out. So you go wall, touch the wall with your foot, and then burpee. Okay. It's easy, right? So you go, touch it with your foot, burpee. All right, and you go again. And then burpee. All right. <laughs> now, I will be brutally honest with you guys. There was part of me that really did want to try it, but the sensible voice inside of my head was telling me, no, Michael, this is not gonna end well. Leave this one out. I've never done this before. But I feel like it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Don't get abused. laughs> I feel like it's just gonna get every body part you can imagine right now. So you go. How many They're, big guys? A lot of NFL big guys. Yeah. They don't train like you. It's a little more still fast twitch. They're coming off the line. Um, but a lot of this stuff is it just it's practice. 
Well, yeah, practice and just getting used to your body, putting your body in that unpredictable moment or movement, mm -hmm. right? And getting used to it, which allows your body to be better in all movements. Yeah. I, I've never had to think like that. Every time I'm doing my lift, it's very slow, controlled, time and attention. And for me, it doesn't feel like I have it. I mean, there's a lot to think about that's completely different to, yeah. you know, like trying to catch a ball. And then throw you have it all the different time. parts of your mind. Yeah. Working, like, your body it, moving. I felt like it was a, a mental workout as well at the same time. Yeah, you have to think, and you get frustrated, you get fatigued. Yeah. And when you get fatigued, you tend not to think. Yeah. So now you're testing your brain. Now think about like real life scenarios where you're tired, you're running to a meeting, you're mad, your girlfriend did this, you know, uh, your family's doing that, and you get to your meeting, you can't think. Mm -hmm. But I think when you train in this position, it, it, it allows you to be in any situation. Yeah. and like crush that situation regardless of what it is because your body's fatigued but you can still think that's why i'm talking to you yeah, yeah. When, when we're doing our work and i'm like you have any brothers or sisters yeah, you have yeah, dogs yeah, yeah. how long was your flight where are you from all this and you're like thinking like oh shit, i'm trying to catch a ball i'm telling them you know how long this flight was mm -hmm. my body's trying to move my ankle's almost breaking so all these different things are moving so this is very different to uh my style of training as you can clearly see i am struggling here it's just ridiculous how much of my mental power is tested. Even though I'm using my brain when I'm doing my style of training, hypertrophy training, it's just completely different. And I'm I'm getting frustrated with myself because I don't I don't like being bad at something, and I'm trying to become better. But it's not one of those things that I can instantly just be like, okay, yeah, we'll be good at this now. It's something which clearly needs to be worked on. And it doesn't matter how much muscle I have. That's not going to do much doing this style of training, particularly with, you know, trying to do those press-ups with my feet on the ball. I couldn't even do one. I was like literally all over the place. And that is, could be down to core strength, could be down to a number of things, but just, it's for me to do something like that takes a lot of practice. So would I incorporate this style of training to my own programming? If my goal, which it is, is to maximize muscle hypertrophy, to get as big as possible, this isn't really necessary. Uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily counterproductive, maybe to some extent, but for, to, to get bigger, I wouldn't do this. But because I've seen what my current ability is th at this style of training, I want to. I don't like the fact that I was pretty terrible at that. I want to be better at doing something like that. So I feel like maybe once a week, this would be really cool to throw into my, you know, current training split. It makes things more interesting because a lot of stuff I'm doing with hypertrophy training is the same thing over and over again. Fortunately, I enjoy it. You know, I put my music in and I get in there. I like the feeling. There's quite a lot of people who do get bored doing the same thing over and over again. So I'd probably, you know, recommend those type of people to do it. But it's definitely a great way to burn calories, a great way to build up your fitness and your conditioning. And yeah, you know, you saw his physique. He had a good physique. I think a lot of male out there would aspire to have that physique so this style of training is definitely worth doing what's your instagram so people can follow you i'll put the link on that devon d-e-d-o-n levesq l-e-v-e-s-q-u-e and this gym is performance house new york city we're opening in la Ooh. soon nice nice wicked man thank you very much of course brother right. thanks for coming we're all freaking sweaty <laughs>